one of the arguments you often hear from older people or people that are just uncomfortable with social media is asking about the ROI, right? What's the ROI of Facebook? What's the ROI of Pinterest or Twitter or anything else? And so I'm going to show you an example here from Gary Vaynerchuk. You know, so he puts up this tweet, right? So curious, who's in for more than 20 copies? You know, let us know, right? So one of the people that responds to this is Chris Smith from Curator. And, and you know, through that, Gary V actually wrote him a, or sent him a video, okay? So here you can see the video right here, okay? Quick 23 second video, right? I don't know, it looks like he's probably leaving a meeting or something like that, okay? Now, what's the ROI of leaving this video as a message back, right? I mean, like, how many people would do that? Gary V has 1,180,000 followers. So, you know, how can he possibly, or why would he take the time to simply leave a video like this instead of just writing a quick text? Well, now, see, Chris has come over here, and in this group that has 10,573 members, now he's come over here and promoted Gary V. He's shared his Twitter. People can go like him on Twitter. He shared the book. Right, and he's basically, you know, promoted Gary to this list of ten thousand people that really listen and respect what Chris has to say, right? And none of that could have occurred without the tweet originally asking who's buying the book, and it definitely would not have occurred without the video response, right? With just a normal tweet back, Chris probably would have never mentioned that that happened. So, when you're talking about the ROI of social media. Think of it in this aspect as well, right? Like it's exponentially greater when, you know, Chris is over here promoting the book and promoting Gary uh, to people that may or may not even know who he is, right? To people that, you know, listen to Chris and they're probably going to go out and get this book now based off of his recommendation. So sometimes the ROI of social media isn't, isn't um, immediate. In this case, it was pretty immediate. This all has happened within an hour, you know? Um, but it's not always right. It can be just an awareness thing so that, you know, it's always that it's that jab, 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 right hook model that Gary taught in his last book. So a lot of people out there, what's the ROI of social media is this right here, right? It's the interaction. It's the promotion. It's the recommendation and the awareness that can come from interacting with people you're connected with.